this is a nice example of a German um, M35 Luftwaffe camo helmet. Um, it's overall Luftwaffe blue. There may or may not be a decal under it. It's got all this surface rust, but it's got over the blue an irregular tan camo colour and it retains the original wire for the um, foliage to go on it, camo wire and it's got the original strap still in place it's been, it's been over that pig for years and it's dried solid in place so there's no there's no getting that strap off and having it dangle like a, a normal strap it's got the liner, it's got everything in it this is how, this is how genuine German helmets really should be it's overall Luftwaffe blue, you will be able to see that from the inside but where it's got you see it's got surface rust in places but underneath the rusted areas you can see that if we look at that's a patch of Luftwaffe blue okay but if we come this way you see there's a line that goes up there See that line? All of that is tan paint. So it's Luftwaffe blue with a tan painted camo scheme. See there's a line that goes up there. And it's like that all over the place. It's very irregular. Sometimes it's a hard edge line. Sometimes it's kind of like Mickey Mouse style. Well, this is how good German helmets should be. The rivets are strong and tight never been removed and just look at that chin strap that chin strap has been folded over there for years See that it's taken on the shape of the peak There's no way that chin strap can be unfastened and it brought back over the peak. And again, we have the blue lufty paint and the edge of tan paintwork. And again, there's a big section of lufty blue paint there. And this area that looks like rust. Or well, if you come down here, there's an, kind of an arch there, look. And there's an edge that goes all the way up here. And there's a kind of edge that goes up here. So all of this, this, this kind of patch here is tan paint. And it has some kind of material in the paint to give it a rough texture and you see it comes up here and there's a, there's a corner there and it turns and goes down there and the wire basket that's on it it's kind of hooked over the bottom there and we'll see when we turn it upside down it's fixed to it and again it's hooked under there and it's kind of when it's put on the helmet it's twisted tightened around here and then finally it's hooked under the bottom. So that's a really nice example of an untouched World War II German helmet. And if we turn it upside down, get shot of the head, you can have a look inside it. And see chin strap. goes over there that's the other side with the buckle there's no way you can undo that no way you can take that apart 
that's been pushed through there for years that's the end of the strap nice liner this kind of light tan finish nice wear and tear to it and that's one of the hooks for the wire basket that's one of the other hooks for the wire basket and in the back we have the other fixing and rather nicely painted inside on the back skirt Vong Hueck and his number 636 now I don't think we're going to get any helmet details out of it because the area where the details would be is too bad to see anything so we're not going to get any maker's details unfortunately no so that's a good honest example of a complete untouched M35 Luftwaffe camo um, overall its original blue colour with any regular tan camo and this really nice wire camo basket and there may or may not be a Luftwaffe eagle I can't see anything anywhere on it So it's probably been a no decal one but just how genuine German helmets should be